In many workplaces, the air you breathe can be hazardous, potentially harmful dusts, mists, fumes, gases, and vapors. Breathing airborne contaminants can damage your lungs or cause other sickness or disease, even death. If engineering controls or other measures are not sufficient, you can help reduce your exposure to certain airborne contaminants by wearing a respirator. Each time you wear a respirator, you must know the proper fitting procedures and follow them carefully. Today, we will introduce you to the 3M Full Face Piece Respirator 6000 series and provide training on how to use your 3M respirator. Always consult user instructions and follow local laws and regulations. If you still have questions after viewing this presentation, review the information provided in the user instructions or see your supervisor. If you have questions regarding which respirator is right for your application, see your supervisor. In this training, we will be reviewing the following areas. Use and limitations, inspection, filter and cartridge assembly, donning, user seal check, removal, cleaning, replacement parts, to help protect you from certain contaminants in the air where you work. Your company has selected a 3M Full Face Piece Respirator 6000 series for your use on the job. It was chosen by your employer based on the specific types of airborne contaminants and their concentrations in your workplace. It is important that you use only the filter or cartridge that has been selected by your employer for your specific application. No respirator can be effective if it doesn't fit and seal properly to your face. If you have anything that interferes with the face seal of the respirator, including facial hair, temple bars, clothing, or other PPE, you cannot use the face pieces featured in this video. In the US, OSHA, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, requires fit testing to ensure that your respirator fits properly. It is your employer's responsibility to ensure that you receive a fit test when the respirator is first issued to you, and then at least once a year. You will only get the protection this respirator can provide if it fits you properly, is used in accordance with all the requirements of OSHA's respiratory protection standard, and is worn the entire time you are in a contaminated area. Do not use your full face piece respirator for concentrations of contaminants which are immediately dangerous to life and health or are unknown. When concentrations exceed 10 times the applicable exposure limit, if fit tested using a qualitative method such as saccharin or bitrex. When concentrations exceed 50 times the applicable exposure limit when fit tested using a quantitative method. Or in atmospheres containing less than 19.5% oxygen. Failure to follow all instructions and limitations on the use of this respirator and or failure to wear this respirator during all times of exposure can reduce respirator effectiveness and may result in sickness or death. Before each use of your full face piece respirator, inspect it for any signs of damage. Check the face piece, lens, gaskets, straps, and all plastic parts and valves for distortion, cracks, tears, and debris. Your respirator will not function correctly and your health could be jeopardized if your respirator has damaged or defective parts. If it does, replace them before using the respirator. The 3M full face piece respirators are designed to be used with a variety of 3M bayonet attachment chemical cartridges and particulate filters. If you have any questions about which cartridges and filters are appropriate for the respiratory hazards you encounter, consult your supervisor. To attach the round 3M particulate filters 2000 series and 2200 series, align the opening on the filter with the face piece attachment. Push them together and turn the filter clockwise one quarter turn until it stops turning. Do not turn past the stopping point. When attaching rectangular 3M particulate filter 7093 series, simply align the line on the inside of the filter with the small bayonet lug on the face piece, push together and rotate clockwise one quarter turn to stop. To attach the 3M gas vapor cartridges 6000 series, Simply align the mark on the cartridge with the small bayonet lug on the face piece and push together. Rotate the cartridge clockwise one quarter turn to stop. 
In some work environments, both a gas vapor cartridge and a particulate filter are required. To attach the 3M Combination Cartridges P100 Particulate Filters 6000 series, simply align the mark on the cartridge with the small bayonet lug on the face piece and push together. Rotate the cartridge clockwise one quarter turn to stop. To attach 3M particulate filters 5N11 or 5P71, place the filter into the 3M filter retainer 501 with the printed side facing away from the retainer. Press the filter retainer firmly onto the cartridge until it locks securely. Correctly installed, the filter will completely cover the face of the cartridge with the printed side facing the cartridge. To replace the filter, remove the retainer by lifting on the tab. To use 3M particulate filters 2000 series and 2200 series on top of gas vapor cartridges, the 3M filter adapter 502 adapter is required. Align the adapter over the cartridge and engage the front snap and the back snap by squeezing the adapter and cartridge together. You should hear a click as each snap is engaged. The adapter is designed for a one-time use only. It should not be removed and reattached to another cartridge because leakage may occur. Now, align the opening on the appropriate filter with the opening on the adapter and turn the filter clockwise until it stops. Be sure the filter is firmly seated on the adapter gasket or leakage may occur. Cartridges or filters are easily removed by turning them counterclockwise. Fully loosen all four head straps. Position straps over the front of the face piece. Pull your hair back with one hand. Bring the face piece up to your face with the other hand. While holding the face piece in place, pull the straps over your head. Tighten the two bottom straps Tighten the two top straps. Adjust straps as necessary and make sure the back of the harness is centered on the back of your head. Ensure there are no creases or gaps around the face piece perimeter. Always check the seal of the respirator to your face before you enter any contaminated area. You must perform either a positive or negative pressure user seal check. To perform a positive pressure user seal check, place the palm of your hand gently over the bottom of the exhalation valve cover, being careful not to apply too much pressure and disturb the face seal. Exhale gently. If the face piece bulges slightly and you feel no air leaking between your face and the face seal, your respirator has sealed properly to your face. To perform a negative pressure user seal check with the 3M Particulate Filters 2000 or 2200 series, position your thumbs over the center of the filters to restrict airflow through the filter. After you've sealed the filter inlet, inhale gently. If the face piece collapses slightly and you feel no air leaking between your face and the face seal, your respirator has sealed properly to your face. To perform a negative pressure user seal check with 3M Gas Vapor Cartridges 6000 series, cover the open area of the cartridge with the palms of your hands. Filter retainers may aid in conducting a negative pressure user seal check. After you've sealed the cartridge inlet, inhale gently. If the face piece collapses slightly and you feel no air leaking between your face and the face seal, your respirator has sealed properly to your face. To perform a negative pressure user seal check with 3M Combination Cartridges P100 Particulate Filters 6000 series, cover the open area of the cartridge with the palms of your hands. After you've sealed the cartridge inlet, inhale gently. If the face piece collapses slightly and you feel no air leaking between your face and the face seal, your respirator has sealed properly to your face. To perform a negative pressure user seal check with the 3M Particulate Filters 7093 series, squeeze to compress the filter. After you've sealed the filter inlet, inhale gently. If the face piece collapses slightly and you feel no air leaking between your face and the face seal, 
your respirator has sealed properly to your face. A user seal check must be performed every time you put on your respirator. If you detect air leakage when conducting either the positive or negative pressure user seal checks, reposition the respirator on your face or readjust the tension of the straps, then repeat the user seal checks. If you have any difficulty getting the respirator to fit, review the face piece user instructions or see your supervisor. Never enter a contaminated area if your respirator does not seal properly. Remember, a user seal check is not a substitute for a fit test. It is very important that you are fit tested annually to be sure the respirator is capable of fitting you properly. Your respirator may be damaged if you smell or taste contaminants, if breathing becomes difficult, or if dizziness, irritation, or other distress occurs. You must leave the contaminated area immediately, see your supervisor, and repair or replace your respirator. To remove the respirator, first fully loosen all four head straps by lifting up on the buckles. Remove the respirator. Replace the particulate filters according to instructions provided by your supervisor when they become soiled or damaged or when breathing becomes difficult. Replace the chemical cartridges in accordance with your workplace's established change schedule or earlier if smell, taste, or irritation from contaminants is detected. Clean the face piece between uses by removing cartridges and filters and immersing in warm cleaning solution. Do not clean with organic solvents, which may degrade some respirator components. Make sure the water temperature does not exceed 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Scrub with a soft brush until clean. Add neutral detergent if necessary. Do not use cleaners containing lanolin or other oils. Disinfect the face piece by soaking it in a solution of quaternary ammonia disinfectant or sodium hypochlorite or other disinfectant. Rinse the face piece in fresh warm water and air dry in a non-contaminated atmosphere. respirator cleaning wipes 504 may be used as an interim method in the cleaning schedule for individually assigned respirators, but they must not be the only cleaning method in place. When not in use, store your respirator in its resealable storage bag or other suitable storage container, away from the contaminated areas. Remove the nose cup assembly by pulling it away from the center adapter. Grasp the center adapter cover and twist it counterclockwise one quarter turn to disengage it. Remove the center adapter from the lens. Remove the center adapter gasket. Install the new center adapter gasket. Align the tabs on the center adapter base with the notches in the center port of the face piece lens. Slide the adapter into the lens port and twist it clockwise one quarter turn to stop. Be certain that the center adapter gasket is properly in place and sealed and that the adapter assembly is fully engaged. Position the nose cup assembly onto the center adapter aligning arrows. Make sure the nose cup is firmly seated under the center and side tabs.
Inhalation valves are located inside the nose cup and inside the lens. Remove the existing valve by lifting from the post. Install a new valve onto the posts. Be certain the valve is fully engaged under all three lugs on the post, lays flat, and spins freely. Remove the center adapter cover by pulling it out from the bottom latch. Grasp the valve and pull each valve stem out from the valve seat. Inspect the valve seat making certain it is clean and in good condition. Insert exhalation valve stems into the center adapter and pull through from the opposite side until they are both firmly in place. Replace the valve cover by aligning the top opening of the valve cover with the top tab on the center adapter. Rotate the cover down until it snaps to the center adapter. An audible click should be heard. Note, conduct a negative pressure user seal check to ensure the exhalation valve is functioning properly. Remove gaskets from bayonet fittings. Install new gaskets onto bayonet fittings. Be certain the gaskets are in the proper position under all three bayonet lugs. Remove the existing harness assembly by pulling the buckle attachment buttons out of the holes in the face seal tabs. Position the new head harness with short straps toward the top and 3M and 6897 markings facing away from the respirator. Attach the new harness assembly by pressing the attachment buttons into the face seal tab holes and then twisting to ensure the buttons are fully seated. Remove the nose cup assembly from inside the face piece. Remove the center adapter assembly by turning it counterclockwise one quarter turn and withdrawing it from the lens center port. Remove the two Phillips screws from the frame. Pull the frame top and frame bottom away from the face seal. Remove the face seal from the lens. Place the new lens and face seal together, aligning the marks at top and bottom. Position the top and bottom frame, aligning the marks at top and bottom.
install and securely tighten screws. Install the center adapter assembly. Align the tabs on the center adapter base with notches in the center port of the face piece lens. Slide the adapter into the lens port and twist it clockwise one quarter turn to stop. Be certain that the center adapter gasket is properly in place and sealed and that the adapter assembly is fully engaged. Replace the nose cup assembly. Position the nose cup assembly onto the center adapter aligning arrows. Make sure the nose cup is firmly seated under the center and side tabs. The 3M6878 Spectacle Kit consists of a frame assembly and a rail assembly. The frame assembly is the holder for the corrective lenses. The rail assembly supports the frame assembly in the face piece and allows for up and down, in and out positioning of the frame assembly. To install the 6878 spectacle kit, install the rail assembly into the face piece as shown with the plastic foot positioned on the center port adapter. The slot in foot is positioned over the ridge on the adapter as shown. Install the frame assembly onto the rail assembly by inserting pins into holes in the rubber slide as shown. The top of the rail is centered between nubs at the top of the face seal. The rubber slide can be removed from the rail assembly and reversed for additional in and out movement of the frame assembly. Spectacles can now be moved up, down, in, or out to obtain optimal fit and vision.